Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of 24 July. Hope you have come to terms with the budget. The correct term is acceptance. Not much to gain in debating about stuff that is outside your control. For people who know me, they would know that I am deeply invested in the microfinance sector. I have investment in four stocks to my memory. The sector has been selling for more than three months now. The sell started when there was a crackdown on NBFCs, small caps, mid caps. The sector was waiting for the budget. If there will be anything specific to them in the budget. on the negative side so hopefully the sector is back two more stocks that i bought recently went up significantly mrpl a sigh of relief because i got a big holding there which was in lot of losses there is still a lot of loss left let's see how much it goes up but i'll probably put it in my medium term holding for the next quarter i'm not going to sell it i like the results i think it will do well in the next quarter krbl the rice stock i bought it for budget it is nearly now in a break even zone I'll probably sell off the quantity in the trading portfolio. I have some long term holdings in the investment portfolio that I'll probably not touch right now. Budget is done, but volatility is back. Nifty moves, big ones, large spikes, good for traders. Bank Nifty also similar patterns. LNT's results just came out. I have not fully analyzed it, but let me quickly take you there. I'll also talk about mass financials. Q on Q, the income has dropped. Y on Y, the income has increased significantly. This was expected. I had mentioned yesterday also. LNT is right now waiting for government's orders that will come once the budget is passed. There is one portion of its order book which is right now not getting anything since last three four months. They have managed the expenses well. As a result, while profit before tax on expected lines is lesser, it is higher than Y on Y. The trend is okay. The percentages look okay to me. I have not analyzed any exceptional items, but EPS year on year has gone up. Quarter on quarter, obviously, it is down. My guess is most of the analysts will report the year on year number, not the Q on Q number. They will say that L and T results are good. For me, it is basically how you want to see it. Whether the glass is half full or half empty, it was expected that there would be a dip that is priced into the stock. So for me, the results are on the good side only. Mass Financial is a small company. The interest income increased two forty seven to three hundred eleven crores. Quarter on quarter, also two ninety one crore became three one one crore. Good numbers on both sides. Expenses. 215 crore became 267 crore year on year 254 crore became 267 crore no big surprises in any of these numbers here revenue also no big surprises anywhere profit year on year increased from 57 to 72 quarter on quarter increased from 69 to 72 now quarter on quarter number in the profit may look a little low in terms of growth but that typically happens during the election months EPS year on year grew from 3.5 to 4.32. Quarter on quarter increased from 4.23 to 4.32. So this looks like a 17 to 18 EPS year for the stock. Note that this is, I think, about a 30 year old company. I'll go through results once more and then decide whether it's a tick or thumbs down. But I think it is a tick for LNT. Back to markets. Reliance and TCS were up today. HDFC, Airtel, SBI, HUL, they were all down. In fact, these stocks were hugely volatile today. ITC went up today also 0.37 percent, but it was up lot more than where it closed. LNT was sulking today also in anticipation of the results, but I think it will go up tomorrow, especially if the analysts talk about the year-on-year -year numbers. Nifty down a bit. Bank Nifty 0.7 percent down. One funny thing happened today to me. The Bank Nifty expiry actually is next week because last Wednesday is next week. It does not happen like this often. Nifty expiry tomorrow. Bank Nifty expiry next week. Nifty IT up a bit. FIIs are back to selling second consecutive day. DIs are back to buying. So FIIs sell. DIs buy. FIIs buy. DIs sell. Wix cracked. The event is done. Eight percent down. Gold. I believe there is a comical thing happening. Many people don't realize fine print from the budget. They are thinking that gold has corrected five thousand, six thousand rupees, and suddenly there is a lot of buying happening in gold as well as silver. It will be very comical and very painful for some of the people who take this decision unknowingly. ADRs are down. Bitcoin up one percent. Brent up. Rupee did not go anywhere. Meta has good news on AI front. They are up today also fourth consecutive day of upside. However, the trillion dollar club is cooling down. Nvidia is below three trillion. This is the volatility I was talking about. While VIX is down, look at Reliance going up, then coming down, going up, coming down. This is a sixty point range, nearly two percent. TCS also volatile. HDFC volatile. Now you might wonder then why is VIX down? That is because when Reliance is going up. 
ICICI is going down. When TCS is going up, ATL is going down. The banks were moving similarly today. Look here. So that is why Bank Nifty's movements were pretty big. Most banks had same pattern of a V, gap up opening, correction then went up. Nearly all banks. Defense, the pattern is back. Opening at the highest point of the day, cooling down and then consolidating. Nearly all stocks. Tomorrow morning, I'll probably try and take a trade and see if it is profitable. Now volumes are dying. Defense will probably now lose the flavor. Budget is done. It is no longer the flavor of the month. Metals were choppy. Dustan Singh went up, then came down, then went up. Sale was the only stock that went up and stayed up. Hindustan's copper went up, lost all its gains and then consolidated. All the stocks in the sector now are away from 52 week high. Railways, IRFC corrected, but not too much. The sector looked like a normal sector today. Zomato has given another shot to the market by increasing the platform fee. It is up today also, nearly back to 52 week high. HCL corrected a bit, overall the sector was looking green. Energy, NTPC, Power Grid were both up today also. Overall sector was up, volumes were good. Castrol pops up one or two days every week with about a 10% gain. MRP L up significantly, overall the sector was up 1%. Volumes were okay. I tuned the fear and greed index a bit. Market debt was a lot better today, 21 sectors up. The euphoria was in insurance, oil and gas, beverages, electrical utilities. Banks, personal and household products, food and tobacco, construction materials were pulling the index down. Tata Motors was up 2.5%, otherwise not much in the budget for auto. So the sector was down 1.3% today. Beverages pack was rocking today. I just noticed Varun Beverages, it is in the long term portfolio. 4% up today. LNT is still down in the construction pack. Food and tobacco, ITC was up today also. However, all other players, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, there was good profit booking. Home building mix pack, household goods was up except Whirlpool. Insurance, I could not understand the jubilation. There is reduction in TDS. But why is the sector jumping in joy? LIC up 7%, ICIC approved up 9%. I don't think this will lead to more policies being taken in the country. It just makes life more convenient but does not lead to better sales in my opinion. BSC was up 8%. This is in my long term portfolio. Most stocks were up. The sector was up 2.7%. Siemens ABB are not moving up at all. The sector was up. However, there is no point till the big boys move. The gas pack was up a lot. Gas equipment also. The consumption pack was down. HUL, Godrej, Dabur, Colgate. Heavy profit booking. Pharma up today as well. Real estate up. Jewelers continued the jubilation. Kalyan Jewelers up 6.2%. Titan is still nowhere near 52 week high. Volumes were high. But now Nifty 50, there are some changes in the fear and greed calculation. The fear is highest in Tata Motors, Tata Tech Mahindra. That is because PG is negative. So you can ignore this for now. Bajaj, FinServe, look at where it is. After the Tata Consumer, SBI, Bajaj Auto. There is fear in this stock. If you consider these as investable stocks, then these are maybe good opportunities. Access Bank, Indescent, ICICI, HDFC, HUL. Let's check greed now. Top of the greed is DV's Lab followed by HDFC Insurance, JSW Steel, Hero Motors, SBI Life. Look at the PEG ratios here. I've added EPS, PEG and PE so that we have a complete contrast here. Now let's talk about say Indescent which I talked about yesterday. Look at where the stock price is. The PEG is 0.55, PE is 12. Now P for sectors varies, but PG rationalize it to some extent. So hopefully this column as it evolves will help take better decisions. This should serve only as an input to the decision, not the decision itself. Overall market bet was bad, 31 stocks down, 19 up. Lions, NTPC, Tata Motors, ONGC took the indice up. HUL, HDFC, SBI, Bajaj Finance, Axis Bank dragged the indice. Next 50, 21 down, 29 up. ICIC Pro, LIC, Varun Beverages, United Spirits, Zydus, they were the top performers. PSU Bank still not looking very good. My trades I added to HDFC Bank. I bought Kotak, I bought Indescent and I bought a bit of silver. I didn't sell anything. Maybe tomorrow I'll lighten a bit. FNO I tried very small trades today, one at a time. Overall the day was good. This number was actually 13,000. There is this particular trade, it was actually in profit. I took it at the wrong time and then I got distracted towards the end of the day. That is where Nifty just shot up like anything. This position will open 5,000 down tomorrow. So I'll manage the rescue tomorrow. Overall for the day, this number should be around 13,000 plus. So a bit of recovery in the losses. 
Bank Nifty was a very small trade, but it was very volatile. Big moves, so I was a bit scared. I stepped out. No big changes, but five red days of options have turned green today. Tomorrow, I'll just try and rescue the position maybe. Overall, budget will be out by the end of this week from everyone's mind. It will be BAU mode for most people. But now most people will start tiring a bit. There is a fatigue starting with elections, ending with the budget. So this may result into less trading and more investments going forward or moving to SIP mode for the coming months. Also, once the STT in options is finalized, the high frequency trade might go down a bit. Let's see what impact it has on the FNO trades. As of now, I don't see any big crackdown happening. Liquidity is still high. There is nothing bad in the Indian economy per se right now. As of now, the results, most of the big ones are out. People have digested them. There is no big trigger for the euphoria either. There will probably be a trading range within which sector and stock rotations will keep on happening and markets will be volatile but within the range. As of now, we might see 24,000 and maybe 23,000 earlier than we see 25,000. This target I will probably move to maybe Diwali time right now unless there is some big external trigger. Hope you are making some money in the markets. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.